Hello there, this is Dave Allen for No Stylus, and today we'll have a look at an application called MP3 Recorder. And in some ways, it's quite like the application day one. So let's just move over to day one now. And you see there, it's kind of a uh, journaling application day one, and you can put tags, you put photographs, and you've got a calendar and starred and so on. And um, I use it both on the Mac and also on the iPad as well, mostly on the, on the Mac. And it uh, will remind me at certain times during the day that I should be uh, recording my thoughts in form of writing. And I can do that quite easily and get quite a bit out there because I use the Dragon Dictate and I can actually talk my stuff in there. But if you don't have Dragon Dictate and you want to do some recording of uh, what's going on and stuff, maybe you could do it with a recording, an audio recording instead. So here we've got this MP3 recorder and basically what you've got is you've got an application which kind of gives you the same sort of thing as day one but just for audio. It's got some uses, I quite like it. It's um, got a timeline. And we've got some tags, and we've got a calendar. So it's looking very, very like uh, day one, and we've got start. So if you put a uh, star in to make it a favourite, you can uh, look at it that way. And you can also send these to iCloud. Memos and photos. So you can add photos to this as well. So let's do a recording on this and just see what we've got. So it's very simple, obviously. You've so we've just got the one button on this top left quadrant here, which is obviously going to be for recording. So let's just press on that. So now I'm doing a recording and we can see we've got some nice little lever controllers there. And it's working pretty well, so that'll do for now. OK, so we'll just click on timeline, go to this one here. And I can put a recording name on there. So let's put a name in there. Test 2. And now we can add a memo about this recording so that we know what it was all about. The idea of that is so that we can find it easier with the search later. So there you go, that's how easy you can get that bit done. Now what we might want to do is we might want to add a picture to that. I'll click on the picture button there so now I'll have to choose something from the uh, camera. Or... I can allow it to access my uh, pictures on here already. And I'll go to camera roll. And we'll just choose that picture there, put it in. So now we've got a picture in there. And then what we can do is we can go to this one here. We can start putting some tags in there. And let's just say we're going to call it day one. And there's no waveform on it. That's quite good. So if you could just do me the favour of clicking on the like button, I'd appreciate it. Thanks. That's pretty easily done. So another thing that you might want to do is to make a mark on the recording. So maybe at uh, that point in there, four seconds into the recording, you want to put a mark in there. So let's go to Marks and enter Mark Name. I can't see where I'm typing now because the keyboard's come up and covered it over. OK, now we're on. <laughs> it didn't work right the first time around, but it's working now. So. so now if I'm here and I want to go to that particular point in there, I can click on that. Click on play, and it starts playing from the four second point in the recording. Okay, so there you go. And now what I can do is I can put a star on that because it's a good one. Put a tap on the little cloud symbol down there. And I can click on save, and it is completed. So if I go back into the timeline now, you can see that I've got two recordings made there. And if I want to do some searching later on, so I can search it by the date, beginning and the end of it. I can look for things that have been starred. I can look for whatever's in iCloud or has a memo. I can look for keywords. And we've got a calendar in there. So it's, it's looking very, very like day one, isn't it? Because you have the calendar in day one there. And we can look at the photos. So it's a nice little application. And if you want to do some journaling, you want to talk to your iPad and not have it turned into text, then that's good way of doing it. In fact, what you can do is you can send these um, things out. So let's go to this one here. We'll go to this button in the top right hand corner. We'll click on uh, share audio. Now I did try and click on make a video, but every time I've tried that so far, it just crashes. So let's just try it one more time. There you go, crashed it. Maybe that is something I'll get fixed in a future version. So let's try again, and this time we'll click on Share Audio. So now the audio is being shared out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to uh, Chrome on here. 
test 2 mp3 that's the one I'm just sharing out now so I've right clicked on it and I'm going to click save link as and it's going to be called test 2 and it's going to go to the downloads folder click on save so what I can do now is I can go into download okay so here we are in downloads in the finder and these are the ones I've just brought in there and it's a very simple thing to get this playing so now I'm doing a recording and we can see we've got some nice little lever controllers there and obviously you can share it out through iTunes and other apps to share so for instance if I want to open it up another application I can do so what I can do now is I can open it up in Recorder Pro Imported Docs so in the Imported Docs click on that there I can load it up and I can play it in there as well so now I'm doing a recording and we can see we've got some nice little lever controllers there so you can do your recording in our mp3 recorder application and you can share it out to other applications on your ipad you can get it onto your mac through the wi-fi sharing or the itunes sharing and it's all pretty easy just tap on that to stop it and we stop sharing it's a good little application if you want to do some journaling and you just want to do it by recording audio so there you go mp3 recorder give it a try Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.